has been the year of big victories for the Ducks. In the warm days of September, a 43-28 offensive shootout over the Washington State Cougars in Pullman. The next week, a hard-fought 7-3 defensive struggle over the Stanford Cardinal. And in October, no victory sweeter than a come-from-behind triumph over the hated Washington Huskies. But none would be bigger than tonight. A bowl bid is on the line as the Ducks visit the desert southwest to face the Arizona Wildcats. Good evening, everybody, from Arizona Stadium in Tucson, Arizona. Tonight's contest, a Pac-10 matchup between the Arizona Wildcats and the Ducks. Good evening. I'm Todd McKim, along with Greg Mosier. Glad you could join us tonight. Greg, as uh, you look at Arizona, this is not the easiest team in the world to prepare for, especially their offense. You have a combination of the run and shoot and the wishbone. It certainly is, and it poses a particular problem because they can shift from the run and shoot to the wishbone. And as far as your defensive personnel, you'd like to have your nickel package or your pass defense in when they're in the run and shoot and a little stiffer on the run when they've got the wishbone, but you can't substitute when they're shifting back and forth to it. Indeed, it makes it difficult as for the Ducks. Offensively, Pete Nelson again gets the starting call at quarterback. Do your thoughts about his performance against UCLA and maybe how that game helped his confidence for this game? He did play pretty well in the UCLA game. The absence of the big plays is what hurt the Oregon Ducks. Uh, I think with getting a total practice time this week and the fact that he is getting more game experience has got to help. Talk about big plays and those can be made offensively, defensively, Defensively and on the special teams. These are two of the better teams in the conference on special teams play. How big is this ball game? How important is it? Well, we asked that question to Oregon coach Rich Brooks. Well, Oregon hasn't been in a position in recent years to play a game uh, with postseason implications this late in the year. Uh, and certainly we're in that position this week to do that. And uh, uh, Arizona is too. So it, it makes it a very important game for both teams. What are the keys you feel for an Oregon victory? I really believe we must score some points and uh, hang on to the football to do that. And our defense has to create some turnovers to create some scoring opportunities for our offensive unit. What is the key in trying to contain the wishbone run shoot? Well, defensing Arizona's wishbone and run and shoot offense starts with defensing the fullback in the middle. Uh, we need to make sure they can't just come out and munch us for four, five, eight, and ten yards inside. And then we must do a very disciplined job on the perimeter of defense and the quarterback and the pitch man on the option as well as playing the pass off of it. It's real simple. That's a lot easier said than done indeed. So when we come back, we'll have the opening kickoff as the Ducks get ready for the Arizona Wildcats.